every service incident or request may cause disruptions on any organization. And understanding the ripple effects of this possibility is crucial for maintaining stability, efficiency, and continuity. Hi, I'm Artur Schiffer and welcome back to the TechLib YouTube channel. Impact analysis is a crucial ITSM process aimed at identifying the consequences of unplanned incidents or proposed changes on business operations. After the team is able to evaluate the extent, the impact or the severity of an incident, a change or even a problem, they are able to also prioritize resources and allocate the correct assets or people to solve these incidents or deal with change requests. With GLPI, you are able to also draw and evaluate the impact analysis in your organization. In order to use the impact analysis, you need to have some inventory in your GLPI. So for example, you can collect data automatically using our GLPI inventory and agent features, or you can also input data manually in your GLPI. Impact analysis is a module, actually it's a tab inside each asset that you have in your company. So after you have inventory collected, you can also draw and visualize all the, the interdependencies between assets in your organization. So to make it easier to understand, let's take a look on what we have here to show you. First of all, GLPI has its impact analysis tab here inside any assets. So in this scenario, we are into this computer and we can see we have different arrows here. So we have a red arrow and a blue arrow, for example. Every time you see a red air arrow, it means that from the point of view of this computer, all the services are going to be impacted and all these services impact on this computer. So it means that every time you change the perspective of what you are seeing, you are going to see different arrows or scenarios. Let's, for example, take a look to this network device here. So in this scenario, as you can see, the main router is in bold and this main router will impact every other computer and service inside my company. This is, for, for example, changeable. If I go to this network device, which is the UDR that I have here, as you can see here in bold, it is impacted by the main router. So every change or incident on the main router will probably impact the UDR and consequently all of the other services. And if you go to a software, for example, the GLPI here is impacted by, for example, a problem on the Debian or an RMEs. So th this way I can really see the impact on my company. And if I wanted, for example, to add a new server here, let's imagine that this server here has the DNS, for example. So every time the DNS is down, for example, the GLPI is also going to be down in this scenario. So I can link it to the GLPI. So in this scenario, every time the Ubuntu is down, the GLPI is going to be down as well. Not just that, but let's imagine in a scenario that if GLPI depends on Ubuntu and Ubuntu depends on GLPI, I can also create the other way around. And now we are going to have a purple arrow here. So it means that if one of these is impacted, two of them are impacted. Good. So I can save it here. And also every time new staff is hired or let's imagine more experienced staff is also working but can't remember the whole network connection, they can just go into a ticket. For example, in this ticket, uh, GLPI is down. And if I go here into items, I can see that the GLPI is already connected to this ticket. I can just click here on this item. I will automatically open the GLPI asset, which is a software, and I can navigate to impact analysis and see which, what is the path for this software to work. So let's imagine I don't know the correct problem. And in this scenario, I could have, for example, an incident on a Debian SSH or on Aramis. This time I can see, okay, I knew that someone is working on Aramis. 
So probably I have a problem on GLPI due to the problem on RMEs. So let's come back to the ticket, for example, and add some information here. I can go to ticket and add, for example, team is working on an update on a server. ETA 15 minutes, for example. So in this scenario, I didn't know that GLPI was on RMEs, but I knew that someone was working in RMEs. But just looking to the item and the impact analysis, I could see that the problem, the incident is due to probably a maintenance on RMEs. Since we can relate items to changes, to problems, and to incidents, we can have this useful for not just for incidents, but also when we have a um, change request, for example, a proposed change request, and we need to evaluate and analyze if we are going to have some problem or any kind of issue with unplanned servers. So let's imagine we need to change, for example, uh, a hard disk on a server and we don't really know which services are going to be impacted by this installation or this change. So we need to evaluate it and impact analysis can be useful for that. Also, when we are, for example, investigating a root cause for a problem, we can also make sure what are the servers or what are the network devices, cables, or even racks that can be impacted or are impacting the change or the root cause of this problem. Now that you know that GLPI can also help you on impact analysis, are you going to use it? What are your thoughts about the impact analysis? Let the comments below.